So you have an RTX 4000 laptop and you wanna overclock your GPU to get a few extra FPS. Well, first of all, I wouldn't advise you to do it and I would actually recommend you undervolt your laptop if you wanna get extra FPS. And I actually have a tutorial on this laptop on how to undervolt your RTX 4060, which is actually gonna work for every laptop out there. So you might wanna check that one out if you wanna listen to me. However, if you don't wanna listen to me and you still wanna overclock it, I'd rather you do it the right way. So I'm here to tell you how to do it properly and what factors take into consideration. Now, don't worry, I won't waste much time talking and I will just show you how to do it. It's very simple, but please listen to me for a few seconds. It might help you. First thing about laptop overclocking is it's a game against thermals. So your main limiter will actually be the temperature of your GPU because if you overclock it, it will put out more heat and it might actually make the PC throttle more and it might actually make you lose performance. So the first advice I'm giving you is you should have a beefier laptop than usual, hopefully with a higher TDP on your GPU of 140 watts or higher, hopefully. Then you should also set your fans in your laptop to run higher than usual and maybe wear headphones to endure the noise. Then I would also recommend you upgrade your thermal paste and thermal pads inside your notebook, maybe even put in liquid metal to get a few extra percentages to be able to squeeze extra performance out of it. And for all of that, I actually have guides on the channel, but assuming you have your thermals done right and everything set up properly, I will tell you now how to overclock it the right way. So what you will need is two pieces of software, Heaven Benchmark and MSI Afterburner. Now you will also need a third piece of software, but this will be basically of your choice. So one game you usually play in, you will need that to validate your results and to actually test stability in, okay? So with that said, let's get tuning. Okay guys, so here we are. We launched Heaven Benchmark in windowed mode and you should do that. And then we opened on top of it MSI Afterburner right here. So this is all we need to do our overclocking. Now, how does overclocking works? Basically, we just give more clock to the core and memory and this will help us reach more performance. So how we do it is we want the PC to crash and then we wanna go back. So we are going up 100 megahertz at a time on the core clock. So we just hit 100, hit apply, see if we get a crash. It's not crashing, okay, perfect. We go to 200, let's see if it crashes. As you can see, we are now at 2.7 gigahertz on the core and we haven't yet crashed. So let's try 300. There we go. It is still running fine. So it seems to be stable. What about 400 then? Would 400 work? Let's try. As you can see, it froze and crashed and you might be panicking. Oh my God, I broke my PC, but no. Just hit the reset button and wait. Maybe Heaven Benchmark will start working again or maybe you will have to open it up again. But it's not an issue. As you can see, it's now working again. Now you wanna remember the limit you reached, which was 300, if I recall correctly, maybe it was 400, I don't know. Let's say it was 300. Now what we wanna do is go up by 50 this time. So let's put 350 right there, hit apply. And even 350 crashed, so it's not stable. So I think 300 is our closest point. So let's write that down for a second. Let's move forward with the memory overclocking. Now for the memory, it is actually much simpler because every laptop can do plus 800. So we start from 800 and we go up. However, I actually do not recommend you test your memory overclock. I recommend you listen to me and you just put plus 1000 because over 1000, especially on the 4060, you're not really gonna get much and on laptops in general, memory runs pretty hot. So I wouldn't push this too much. So I'd say put a thousand or 800 at worst. But if you wanna test it, it's the same process as the core clock. So at this point, we just put our 300 back. There we go. And now we open a game and we play. If the PC crashes, we lower another 50 megahertz and we basically repeat the process until the PC is stable. Now this seems simple, right? wrong because sometimes you overclock and you actually lose performance because modern gpus have an error correction mechanism put in place so even if you overclock it you are actually losing performance so you need a game or a benchmark to cross reference and actually check that you are gaining 
performance and not just losing it outright by overclocking it more if it makes sense. Uh, but if you're doing all that, you will end up with a faster laptop, better performance and overall a better life. But if you want an even better life, you should uh, subscribe to the channel. First of all, guys, come on, I'm giving you this info with very bad delivery for free. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. But yeah, drop a like, drop a sub, but you should probably undervolt it because undervolting is better than overclocking nowadays, guys, because everything is uh, thermally constricted, unfortunately. Anyways, uh, I hope the video was helpful. Now you know how to overclock a GPU. You can call yourself a professional overclocker and I will catch you, hopefully, if you're not tired of me, in the next video. I also do budget builds, laptops review like the one we have here today and many more interesting things on the channel. So you might want to stick around. Goodbye, guys.